Welcome back, everybody, live to the Brevard Sports Network. I'm Jackson Robb here for the final game here today from Zach Seeley Field, a 14U game between the DeLand Bulldogs and the Satellite Beach Scorpions. 12U game and 11U game were both won by Satellite here, so on the Brevard Sports Network, at least, Satellite trying to complete uh, the sweep of the live games. I know they had games before we were able to make it out, and I don't know the scores of those games, but I know the last two games have been won by Satellite. So, Satellite Beach will be set to return here. DeLand will be kicking off here to start this one. As I said in the last broadcast, a lot of players on this Satellite 14U team are from their 12U team last year that went to the Pop Warner Super Bowl in Orlando. Like Noah Flores, Will Copeland, and many other players also there. So, DeLand will be set to kick it off from their own 40-yard line. To start the 14U game, fresh 10 minutes on the clock as we are set to finish off the day here with this one. Thanks everyone for tuning in all day as we get set to close the day out here with 14U and everyone that's tuned in. Thank you for watching. Back to kick for DeLand is trying to get his number. That is number seven, Peyton McKenzie. And here we go. Kickoff here of the 14U. McKenzie boots that one down. A deep kick will be returned here by Noah Flores. Noah Flores. Flores cutting up the seam. Noah Flores. Noah Flores down the sideline. One man to beat, and he will beat him. We got flags down, but that'll be a Noah Flores. 80-yard kick return touchdown to start the game. And if you want to know who Noah Flores is, that's one way to show you. Noah Flores starting it off, but the penalty comes on satellite. So unfortunately, the Noah Flores kick return will not stand, but a huge tone setter to start for the satellite Scorpions. Noah Flores with the 80-yard kick return touchdown, but it'll get called back there. Didn't see the penalty. Assume it was most likely holding or blocking the back. Satellite will take over, and well, if you thought that's the last you'll see of Noah Flores, you'd be sadly mistaken as he is the quarterback for the Satellite Scorpions 14U team. So that kick return is... One of many things that he can do at quarterback. He led that 12U team last year to Camping World Stadium and the Camping, or not in the Camping World Championship, the Pop Warner Championship. First down satellite at their own 27, 26 yard line. It's tough because that penalty brings it all the way back to where the penalty was committed, spot foul. Flores with split backs here for first down. First down and 10, Satellite. Noah Flores with split backs. Flores turns, gives. No, Flores keeps to the near side. Flores turning up the sideline. Eating hits, breaking tackles. As Flores finally brought it down after picking up a Satellite Beach first down. As we have a DeLand player down here in the near side. We have a DeLand Bulldog down here on the near sideline. It'll be first and 10 satellite coming up. And kickoff return gets called back by Noah Flores, but on first and 10, he takes a bruising run to the near side here, picking up the first down, running through multiple defenders. But one of those defenders is down for DeLand. And we hope the best for him as he's still down here on the sideline. He is moving, alert, talking to the coaches here. And Noah Flores is going to be one of those players you're going to have to watch out for at the next level. He is quite the athlete as the player gets up for DeLand. He'll walk off under his own power. Great to see there. So as he gets off the field, first down and 10, satellite at their own 42. Big run by Noah Flores on first down. 
And Flores can do a lot. He's a great kick returner for Satellite. Saw him take the kickoff to the house before getting called back. Great quarterback. But you can see he can run, too. He can do pretty much anything. He's a Swiss Army knife at quarterback. And the Scorpions are lucky to have him. And, again, we'll see as as he gets older. We'll see definitely see uh, Flores on Friday nights fairly quickly. He might be one of those special players that skips JV wherever he chooses to go. First down and 10 satellite at their own 42-yard line. First down and 10, Flores still in the gun, single back. And hard count by Noah Flores. Let's get some jumping. Offsides, it'll be first and five satellite now. That back with Noah Flores is number four, Zach Martin. Zachary Martin there is the back with Flores. Now first and five satellite at their own 47-yard line. Score 0-0, zero, zero, 9-10 to go in the first quarter. Flores turns, gives up the middle. And a good run there for a first down by Zachary Martin. First down satellite into the land territory to the Bulldogs, 45. Great back they have there, too, in Zachary Martin. That's the thing you got to worry about, like read option type plays. Flores and Martin can both run for big gains there, as that's a gain of about eight. First down and 10 satellite to the DeLand 45. Split backs here with Flores. The other back, number 34, Ty Getch. Flores drops back this time. His first pass, he is airing it out. Tipped and incomplete there. Great coverage by DeLand, number 23. Naylon Rogers swats that one away, away to bring up second and ten. Second and ten satellite now at the Deland 45. Flores throw is batted down there by Rogers. Second down and ten satellite. Still split backs with Flores. Martin and Getch. Flores turns, keeps. Flores on the read option. Noah Flores to the near side, taking it down the sideline. Staying out there, but it'll eventually be brought down after a solid gain up towards the first down. Line to gain, and it will be enough. No, it will not be enough. I thought they motioned, but they did not. That is a gain of nine by Flores. Third and one for Satellite at the Deland 34. Or third and inches for Satellite. Third and inches Satellite at the DeLand 34 yard line. Third and short. Flores and Martin are in the backfield. Third down. Flores turns, gives up the middle. Zachary Martin dives forward, lunging forward. For the Satellite Scorpion first down once again as they got a long methodical first drive here. It's a good one though. They're consistently moving the ball and on third and inches they pick up five. Pick up four or five here. It'll be first and ten Satellite at the DeLand 29 yard line. Welcome everyone live to the Vard Sports Network. For the last game of the day here from Zach Seeley Field. The 14U game still 0-0 zero, zero here. Almost a touchdown on the first play of the game on the kickoff, but it was called back. Noah Flores took it all the way. First down and 10. Flores drops back for the second time. Stepping up, firing. It's caught over the middle on the slant. Breaking tackles. Still going. And that'll get him down near the 10-yard line. Number 16, Logan Regis. Regis with a catch and run from Noah Flores for a big gain there. Up to the 11. Or the 12 yard line. That'll get him all the way down to the DeLand 12 yard line. Again, a 17 by Regis from Flores. Flores drops again, fires the near side. It's caught by Will Copeland, and Will Copeland is in from a. 11 yards out, touchdown satellite. William Copeland gets him in, and that Flores to Copeland select. 
connection is still strong for the Scorpions. So from 11 yards out, Noah Flores finds Will Copeland for the Scorpions touchdown with 6.56 to go in the first quarter. Those are two big names from that uh, 12U Super Bowl team. Noah Flores, Will Copeland, two names to keep up with for sure throughout the game. Back to kick for satellite on the PAT, Maui Maza. Great drive by satellite. As I said, the opening kickoff called back, but they still get the touchdown. High snap. Flores has to grab it. Noah Flores is going to take it now. Flores gets the edge, and Noah Flores. And Flores gets it in there. And you see the talent in Noah Flores right there. High snap. Broken play on a PAT, and he takes it in for the conversion. I think there might have been flags there at the end of the play. There's a Tough tackle there brought on Flores. But, I mean, the thing is, it's a great conversion there by Flores, but it's one point instead of two. Seven to zero. Scorpions lead 6.56 to go in the first quarter. Yeah, that's that, that's great awareness by Noah Flores there. High snap, aborts the hold, takes off, and still gets it in there on a bad snap. So 6.56 to go in the first quarter. Satellite leads to land 7-0. to zero. Off the Flores to Will Copeland touchdown. And the Noah Flores run for the conversion. So here we go. Satellite set to kick. Mazza. Is the kicker for Satellite. Maui Mazda to kick for Satellite. And now we'll get a, our first look at the DeLand Bulldogs offense here. So Mazda's kick here. A good one. And so will be caught and returned by DeLand, number 24, taking it. And he'll be wrapped up and brought down after no grain. Good kick coverage by Satellite. Number 24 on the return was Ethan Wager. First and 10 to land at their own 28-yard line. First down and 10 to land. Taking over at their own 28-yard line for their first offensive drive of the game. Trailing now 7-0. to zero. So here we go. First down and 10 to land. Number two, number two the quarterback, Gardner Nordman. Nordman, the quarterback, forward to land. Try and get the hard count. And we got whistles on flag. I think that'll be a false start, which will back the land up. And that it is. False start on the Bulldogs. That'll back them up for a first and 15. So that'll back them up here. First and 15 to land now back at their own 23-yard line. Here we go. First down and 10, or first and 15 to land now. Following the false start. Nordman turns, gives up the middle to his back. Number six. Pushing forward, breaking tackles. Is Caden Fulton, the running back there. He gets a solid gain, erasing the penalty yards there. And picking up a gain of six. Second down and nine. Second and nine for DeLand at their own 29-yard line. Second down and nine for the Bulldogs. It's 5.20 to go in the first quarter. Satellite leading 7-0. to zero. Low snap, turn, give again. And the Satellite defense is there with a big stop. A tackle for loss. Number 99, Zachary Timmon. 
teaming on the big tackle for a loss there, ripping down Caden Fulton for a loss, a big loss. A loss of about seven there, third and 16 coming up for DeLand back at their own 23 yard line. Third and 15 for the Bulldogs. Following the big tackle for loss by Zach Tiemann. Single back still with Nordman. Now they bring a sep second back, Raymond Hunter. Quarterback throws it underneath. It's hauled in. Taking it down the sideline. And there's a big catch and run there by number 21, Raymond Hunter. For a solid gain. Not enough for a first. It'll be fourth down and four now for DeLand as I will work on that camera issue here at the end of this drive. Should be in landscape mode, but uh, something might have been on personal mistake there. And here we have a timeout on the play. Water break here, or actually DeLand timeout here. 4.21 to go in the first quarter. 7-0, Satellite leading DeLand. I think our sponsor again, First Wave Financial. You can find them at 321-773-7773. Here we go. Fourth down and short for DeLand at their own 37-yard line. Big big fourth down for DeLand. They already trail 7-0. Man in motion. Fourth down. Split backs with Nordman. Now in Rogers. The pass to Rogers on the swing route. Rogers trying to turn it upfield, but the satellite defense makes it a turnover on downs. First down and 10 satellite at the DeLand 38 yard line. Great job on the stop by the satellite defense tackling this man on the swing pass, Nalen Rogers, on the reception. And with 4.13 to go in the first quarter, satellite leads 7 0, and they take over first and 10 at the DeLand 38 yard line. Here's the run here on first down. Number three on the carry. There will be a face mask coming in on DeLand on the carry by number three, Colston Patterson. First down, Satellite following the penalty. So at the end of this drive, we will jump to a new stream. Something messed up after we started the stream. I guess the camera angle turned vertical. Had it set up in landscape. Don't know what happened, but after this drive, we'll switch over to a new stream to make sure you guys get the best picture. I apologize for that, and uh, hopefully you can follow us over again at the end of this Scorpion drive. We have second down and 10 inside the 
First wave, financial red zone, second and 10. Satellite, the Deland 19 yard line. Flores, low snap, Flores turning, throwing. Caught by Will Copeland, Copeland cutting back. Will Copeland diving down for the end zone. Touchdown, or no, down at the one yard line. Will Copeland there on the 18 yard reception. First and goal, Satellite. That Flores to Copeland connection is strong. And that's a big gain there. They actually mark him down at about the three yard line. So again, a 16. First and goal, Satellite at the three. Flores turns, gives up the middle, and running it in for the Scorpion touchdown from three yards out. Colston Patterson extends the Scorpions' lead now 13 to 0 with 2.57 to go in the first quarter. As the Scorps will take the extra point, and then we will log off, jump on a new stream to make sure that the picture is looking better for everyone out there. Again, sorry for the inconvenience. Maui Maza to kick the, the two-point extra point here. Noah Flores holding. Good snap. Hold kick by Maza. High one. No good. Short. Nevertheless, 13-0 satellite. 2.57 to go in the first quarter. We'll be restarting the broadcast here in, in a few seconds. So stay on the Brevard Sports Network. 13-0 satellite lead. Everybody back again to the Brevard Sports Network. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties right now. But as we were out, Satellite picked up a fumble, then lost a fumble, and now DeLand is driving. They have second down and four at the Satellite 34-yard line. Again, welcome back, everybody, to the Brevard Sports Network. I apologize for the technical difficulties. And while we were out, Satellite recovered a DeLand fumble, and then DeLand recovered a Satellite fumble. So turnover on each side, but now it is second down and four for DeLand at the Satellite 44-yard line. And welcome everybody back. Second down and four, last play of the first quarter, ball on the ground again. Who has it? And Satellite recovers the fumble to end the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter, Satellite leads to land 13 to zero. Is that a Satellite's second fumble recovery of the game? And they end that DeLand drive. It'll be start to start the second quarter. It will be first and 10, Satellite at, the, at their own 45 yard line. Like to again thank our sponsor of the day, First Wave Financial. You can call them up at 321 773 7773. So, again, while we were out, Satellite recovered a DeLand fumble on a muff snap, and then immediately to start the next drive for Satellite, Satellite fumbles, DeLand recovers, DeLand drives into Scorpion territory, and then you did see live DeLand fumble, Satellite recovers again. Interesting as the snaps seem like they're having some issue being handled and it hasn't rained at all today. So no wet balls, nothing like that. Just uh, some mishandles of the snaps. First and 10 satellite at their own 45 to start quarter number two. 13-0, Scorps lead the Bulldogs in the 14-U game. The two touchdowns of the day. First one was a uh, Noah Flores pass to Will Copeland. From 11 yards out, the second one was a three-yard Colston Patterson run for their two touchdowns, and the one conversion was a Noah Flores run, which that was 7-0, then 13-0. And that's where we stand right now to start the second quarter. First and 10, Satellite, they're on 45. Flores and Patterson, Flores drops back. Stepping up in the pocket, Flores getting hit. Still going, Noah Flores somehow breaking out of the pocket. Flores down the sideline. No one's going to stop him. One man to beat. Noah Flores is in from 55 yards out. 
And I tell you, sometimes it feels like Noah Flores is Houdini back there in the pocket, shedding tackles. I didn't even see him stay up. And in the blink of an eye, he was out down the left sideline for a 55-yard Scorpions touchdown to start the drive. Noah Flores, what a play. Wow, that was crazy. I mean, credit to DeLand's defensive line as they flew in there to look to make a sack. But Noah Flores doing what he does, shedding tackles, flying down the sideline, beating the entire defense for a 55-yard touchdown. Maza on the extra point held by Flores. Kick is up. Now that one is good for two points. And Satellite leads DeLand 21-0 off the Noah Flores 55-yard scramble for a satellite touchdown. And Maui Mazza's kick is good for two. Satellite leads now 21-0. Still only 9.32 to go in the second quarter. And as I said, Noah Flores is a name you're going to want to remember from youth to high school, college, possibly the NFL one day. This kid's got something special. And again, credit to DeLand's defense. They're getting penetration. It's just going to have to be finding out how to bring down Noah Flores. And that's easier said than done. So Mazza will be set to kick for Satellite. But again, Satellite Scorpions had a 12U team head to the Pop Warner Super Bowl last year in Camping World Stadium. Their quarterback, Noah Flores. Oh, here we go. There's the kick by Mazza following the touchdown. This one will be caught and returned by DeLand. Number 23, breaking tackles, trying to flip the field. Here comes DeLand coming to the near side. Oh, and what a hit. Wow. Number 55 for Satellite. Donald Klein with an absolute boom of a hit. You can hear that up here, and what a hit. And that's completely fair. On the returner, nailing Rodgers. I'm glad to see Rodgers get up. He'll go off the field a little shaken up there. Wow. Perfect angle by Klein, and he absolutely leveled. Again, glad to see Nick. Glad to see Rodgers get off the field under his own power, a little shaken up, rightfully so. And hope to see him back out there soon. It's a good return by him. He had to flip the field there, but ran right into Donald Klein on the sideline. First and 10 to land at their own 36-yard line. Play fake here, going to keep it. The quarterback running to the near side, flags down, and he'll get forced out of bounds. The quarterback, Gardner Nordman, carrying it to the near side. We do have a flag down. That'll be a hold on DeLand, and that will back up DeLand. Still first down, but it'll be first and long. So that'll back him up on the hold on first down. Still first down for DeLand. But now first down and... First down and 15 for DeLand at their own 28-yard line. Following the holding penalty. Eight and a half minutes to go in the first half. Satellite already leading 21-0. to zero. And I believe it's the same rule for 14U. 28 points is a running clock. That'll start... If Satellite can go up by 28, but DeLand's still hanging in there right now. Just got to get that offense moving. First down and 15. During the run, good pressure by Satellite, but running back gets out of there. And he'll be wrapped up and brought down to no gain there on the run by Keaton Fulton somehow getting out of the backfield there to the near side. No gain. It'll be second and 15 now for DeLand. 
Actually, a short gain. Nope, no gain. Second down, actually a loss there. Second down and about 16 now for Deland. Second down and about 20 now for Deland at their own 25-yard line. Nordman, the quarterback there. Man in motion for Deland. Quarterback will drop. Gardner stepping up, heaving it down the sideline one-on-one, -on -one, and that ball will sail out of bounds incomplete. And that will bring up third and long. As Gardner Norman throws that one away. It'll be third down and long now for DeLand back at their own 25 yard line. Third and 15, or third and 20. Following the Gardner Norman pass thrown away there on second down, evading the pressure. Here we go, third and 15 to land at their own 25 yard line. Satellite leads 21-0. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Low snap, drop. Heaving it downfield, Nordman. It's hauled in, taking it down the sideline. That'll be a big first down for the land. Hauled in by number 24, Ethan Wager for the DeLand first down on a big pitch and catch from Gardner Norman down the sideline. Taking the top off the defense there for a big gain. 28 yards there for the first down. To land to the satellite 47 yard line. First time they've crossed the 50 yard line so far in this one. From Gardner Norman to Ethan Wager. First down and 10 for to land at the satellite 47. Turn give up the middle. Trying to bounce it outside there, cutting it upfield. That'll be another DeLand first down. Number six on the carry, Caden Fulton. Caden Fulton there. Caden Fulton there on the carry, but not enough for a first, just short. Again, a nine, second and one for DeLand at the satellite, 38. Still Nordman and Fulton in the backfield. Nordman turns, gives again to Fulton. Fulton trying to get that edge of the far side, and he'll get there. Not a big game, but it's enough for a DeLand Bulldogs first and 10. Caden Fulton on the carry. First down and 10. DeLand to the satellite 36-yard line. Still, Nordman and Fulton in the backfield. Low snap, turn, give. Right to the far side. Caden Fulton trying to get out. Sheds a tackle. Fulton bouncing back. He's losing a lot of yards there by running backwards. And a big TFL by Zach Teeman again. And, you know, I know you want to evade those tacklers, but it's rare you really want to flip field right there. Coaches always say, rather than dancing, go vertically, not horizontally. And one like that running back and forth is going to net a huge loss. Second and 18 now for the land at the satellite 45. Following the big loss brought down by Zach Teeman. Here we go. Second down and 18 for the land. Dropping back, Nordman surveying. Blitz coming. Nordman got to get away, and he'll be sacked there. Flags down, though. The sack by number three, Colston Patterson, with a big sack for Satellite, but there's flags down around the side of the tackle. That'll be a hold on DeLand, and that'll back him up. And that the holding penalty is declined by Satellite. 
Now third. Third and 24. Third and 24 for DeLand to the 50-yard line. Great job by the satellite defense. Back-to-back -back losses. And a timeout here. I believe a water break. 4.44 to go in the second quarter. Satellite leads to land 21-0. to zero. I'd like to remind you about our sponsor for the day, First Wave Financial. You can call them at 321-773-7773. Cheerleaders getting the crowd involved down here. And timeout, still 4.44 to go in the first half. Satellite leads it 21-0. Another touchdown and a PAT. Make it a running clock here for the Scorpions for the second straight game of the day. Last game of the day here from Zach Celia Field. As that sun starts to creep lower and lower on the horizon. Thanks to everyone that's tuned in all day. Thanks to everyone here at Satellite for giving us a great perch and the opportunity here. Get to announce the, the Youth Scorpions here for the first time this season. Now third and 24 for the land at the 50-yard line. Big third and long for the land. No Gardner Norman and Caden Fulton in the backfield. Man in motion to give on the jet sweep. Tries to get out of there, but the satellite defense stops him for no gain. Nalen Rogers. On the jet sweep for no gain. Fourth down and 24 for the land of the 50. I expect to see a punt here with four minutes to go in the half. Fourth and 24 for the land at the 50. And now on 4th and 24 from the 50, DeLand's going to go for it here. No punt team out there for 4th and long. I guess around the 50, you don't have, the, I guess, the faith in the punting. Not a bad idea. Nordman drops back. Nordman fires. It's caught, and that ball pops out on a huge hit. Is that one will be deemed incomplete, no fumble, but another absolute devastating hit there by the Scorps defense to force the incompletion. Nearly completed to Ethan Wager. One they got the first down either way, but a huge hit there by Satellite to force the incompletion on fourth and long. Great throw by Nordman, but an even better hit by the Scorpion D. Interesting spot here. I guess there might have been a penalty there. I don't know why the Satellite would be back here now at their own 32, but it's first and 10 Satellite at their own 31 yard line. First and 10 Satellite at their own 31. So actually, might be might have been a fumble call there, which I would agree with. So I believe a fumble forced by Satellite on fourth down and long recovered, I guess, but either by either team. It's still first and ten, Satellite. Flores heaves it to the near side. That one overthrown, trying to find number two, Lucas Vaselli. Incomplete. It'll be second down and ten, Satellite at their own 32. 2.40 to go in the second quarter. Still incredible play by that score of defense on the stop. What a hit. Satellite's a hard-hitting team. You can see that out there. They're not dirty hits. Hit them fair. They shit them hard. Second down and 10. Satellite at their own 32-yard line. Flores and Patterson in the backfield. Patterson also on that 12U Super Bowl run team. Flores low snap rolls right. Pump fake splits coming. Flores just throws that one into the ground. And they call the flag there as 
guess that'll be intentional grounding maybe on Noah Flores. Let's see what it is. I believe that'll be intentional grounding on Noah Flores. I throw that one away. He didn't get that one. I don't know the rule in um in youth football if there's intentional grounding or if there is a if there is a pocket you can roll out of. Yeah, intentional grounding called on Noah Flores there on the throwaway. Now third and long. Great job by the Deland defense on the pressure there. Third and 17 for Satellite at their own 25. As the Bulldogs look to pick up a stop here for the first time. Actually, there was the fumble also. It would be the second stop the Bulldogs would be picking up today. Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Third down and 22 for Satellite back at their own 20-yard line. Sack for a loss of 12. Split backs with Flores. That's Copeland and Patterson. That trio in the backfield. Noah Flores, Will Copeland, Colston Patterson. Three big names for this 12U team. Last season now playing 14U. This team's still looking very good. Third and 22 for Satellite at their own 30. Low snap. Flores got to chase it. Pick it up. Flores trying to make some magic, but that time it can't happen. As that's another loss of 10 by the Deland Bulldogs defense. Swarming to Noah Flores. And the Scorpions off the punt for the first time today. Back at their own 10-yard line on 4th and 32. Great Deland defense there on this drive. Not letting Flores, Copeland, Patterson, anybody to get open. Or pass the line of scrimmage. Fourth and 32 for Satellite at their own 10. Back to punt is Will Copeland. Snap. Good snap kick by Copeland. That one off the side of his foot. Not going to go how Satellite wants it. Big opportunity for Deland though as they start inside the Satellite 25. First down and 10, DeLand inside satellite territory, and this is going to be a great chance for them to get on the board. Here late in the first half, only 1.45 to go, though, so DeLand's going to have to make it quick. First and 10, DeLand at the satellite 27-yard line to start. So here we go, first and 10 to land at the satellite 27 yard line following the punt. Nordman and Fulton in the backfield. Man running up to the line there for the land. First and 10 Bulldogs trailing 21 to zero. Nordman turns, gives to Fulton. Oh, and the satellite defense swarms on him there for no gain or a loss. Now we got an injured Bulldog there in that pile. So we got an injured Bulldog down on the play. Second down and... 13 coming up for DeLand at the 30-yard line, at the satellite 30-yard line. Great job. Good to see the DeLand Bulldog get off under his own power. So as we come back here, second down and 13 to land at the satellite 30. Second down and 13. Back turn give to a new running back back there, but it'll be stuffed for no gain. Back was number 21, Raymond Hunter. All right, we got flags down on the play. We got a timeout by Delan with flags down. 40 seconds is all that's left here in the first half. False start on Delan was the penalty. It's 
Timeout, DeLand following the false start. 40 seconds to go in the first half. 21 to zero, Satellite leads DeLand. So time out here by the land. I'd like to tell you about our sponsor, First Wave Financial. Thanks for sponsoring all of today's games here from Zach Seeley Field. You can find them at 321-773-7773. Again, 40 seconds to go in the first half. The land with the timeout here. They trail Satellite Beach 21-0 here late in the first half. And for the land, it is third down and long at the Satellite 33-yard line. Uh, the 35 yard line. Third and 15, or third and 10, or third and 20. One of those numbers. I can do math, I promise. Third and 20 should be for DeLand now. Third down and 20 for DeLand at the satellite 35. Be a shame for the Bulldogs if you don't get a score on this drive. You start at the satellite 27 yard line. So now it's. Second down and 18. Nordman in the backfield. He drops back. Norman blitz coming. Gardner Norman gets it away. Incomplete and open field. He's got that one away in the area of his receiver. Incomplete. Third down and long for the land now, though. Still in satellite territory. Only 29 seconds to go for the land. So here we have third down and long for DeLand at the satellite 35-yard line. 29 seconds to go in the first half. Scores lead by 21. Third down, Bulldogs. Nordman, blitz coming, getting out, flushing right, throwing down the sideline. It's caught. No, it's incomplete. Great coverage there by number 46 for the Scorps, Liam Nolt. And that'll bring up fourth and long for the land. They didn't punt it last time, so I wouldn't be surprised if they went for it again. And that one, it was a good comeback route by number 23, Naylan Rogers, but just knocked out there by even better coverage. Fourth and long for the land at the Satellite 35. Fourth and long to land. I believe they're lining up to go for it here. Fourth and long for the land. They'll go for it from the satellite 35. 20 seconds to go in the first half. The land will get the to start with the ball to start the second half. Fourth down and long. Nordman in the gun. Man in motion. Nordman fakes the jet sweep. Nordman keeps. I think that one might have been a miscommunication. Nevertheless, the Scorpion defense there for a loss. And a tackle for loss on fourth and long. As we got a penalty actually flags on the play. Pat flags on the field there on the fourth down. Tackle for loss by Satellite. False start. On to land, that'll be declined. So with only 14 seconds to go in the first half, Satellite takes over first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. Hey, this is a team of Satellite that can score really fast. They get some space, so for the land, they got to do what they did last drive, not even let them get past the line of scrimmage. So we'll see, see what happens here. First down and 10, Satellite clock's ticking. 10 seconds to go. This is going to be the last play of the first half. Split backs, Flores. Play fake, Flores keeps. Noah Flores running down the left side. Flores with the space, cutting back. Noah Flores still going, breaking tackles. One man to beat, Noah Flores. I told you that they can score fast. And Flores caps off the first half with a 64-yard touchdown run on the last play of the first half. Touchdown, satellite, no flags. 
I told you they can score fast, and Noah Flores is the guy to do it. As he takes off, gets even the slightest bit of space, still breaks a few tackles, and Flores taking it all the way for the touchdown. Maui Mazza will line up for the two-point kick. If they get this kick, we'll have a running clock in the second half. If not, then the Scorps are one point away from the running clock, and we won't. That's the two sides of this one. As now, are they even? Are they going to kick it? Or are they going to go for one? We will see. But they're going to go for one here. Flores and Patterson to just try and put them up 28-0. Start that running clock in the second half. Patterson heaves the kick and tee off, so we know they're going for it. Here's the conversion. Flores takes a knee. And it seems like the 14U team doing what the 12U team did for Satellite. Not wanting to run it up. Leave it how it is in the halftime. The Satellite Scorpions lead the Deland Bulldogs 14U 27-0 in the halftime. We will see you in the second half in about 10 minutes.
Welcome back, everybody, live to the Brevard Sports Network here at Zach Sealy Field for the last game of the day today. 14U Satellite leads DeLand 27-0. Great performance so far by the Scorpions, led by Noah Flores. He's got, I believe, three touchdowns. Two or three touchdowns for sure. One by Colston Patterson. A pass from Flores to Copeland. And I believe he had, he might have two. I know he has one rushing touchdown along with the pass, possibly a second. But they have four touchdowns and a 27-0 lead. Flores' last touchdown on the last play of the first half puts them up 27-0. They need the conversion to keep it away from a running clock here to start the second half. As I think they did that in the 12-view game too. They want to play as much of this game on a normal time as they can. Uh, it seems like the Scorps don't really want the running clock. They just want to play it out normally, and, you know, I respect it. You know, I'd like to thank our sponsor, First Wave Financial. You can find them at 321-773-7773. Maui Mazza is set to kick it away for Satellite here to start the second half. The sun begins to set on the horizon at the end of this day. Great one here from Zach Seeley Field. Mazza. Set to kick as they whistle on the live, and we are good to go here in the second half. Maui Mazza to kick it away for a satellite. Another good kick by Mazza. And this one through the hands of the returner. He'll scoop it up and slip down there. Number 21 there with the ball, Raymond Hunter. Good kick coverage by satellite there on the muffed kick and scoop up. That'll bring up first down and 10 to land at their own 20 or 21 yard line. First down and 10 for the Bulldogs to start the second half. They start at their own 20, 22 yard line. First down and 10. They'll be able to say it's college football Saturday. Well, it's youth football Saturday too. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to the youth football action here on the Brevard Sports Network today. They have all the games, Satellite versus DeLand, and then Caleb Brown has all the Sun Tree Vieira versus New Samaritan Beach action over at uh, Sun Tree Vieira Regional Park. First down and 10 to land to start the second half at their own 22. Man in motion. Turn, give up the middle there. And he's got a big gain going there, pushing through, but Satellite will push back there. Raymond Hunter was the back there. Good job by the satellite defensive front to push him back there for little to no gain. Second down and long here as we got a helicopter fly over here. Got the fly over there in the middle of the third quarter. By the helicopter there. Cool sights down here. As it is second down and eight now for DeLand at their own 25. It's about a second and seven for the Bulldogs. Second down, turn, give here to the near side. Trying to get it up the sideline and he'll be brought down out of bounds there by Noah Flores, the carry. Number 23, Nalen Rogers. That'll bring up third down and manageable for DeLand. Third down and seven still here for DeLand at their own 24 yard line. Third and seven for the Bulldogs here to start the second half. 7.40 to go in the third quarter. Scorps lead at 27 to zero. Low snap, play fake. Quarterback keeps it. And Nordman gets stuffed for a loss by the Scorpion defense there. A big loss by Gardner Nordman. And that'll bring up fourth and long for DeLand. I don't believe we've... I don't believe we've seen him punt yet. 
That'll bring up fourth and long. Fourth down and 12 for the land at their own 21 yard line. We'll see what they choose to do here. And they'll still go for it. Actually, no, that looks like punt formation. Punter is quarterback Gardner Nordman. We'll see uh, Deland's first punt of the game. Nordman with actually a good, good boot there. Flores lets it bounce. So first down, satellite at their own 45 following the Deland punt. I mean, that's a solid 35-yard uh, punt there for DeLand. First and 10, Satellite, their own 45. Any score on this drive would make it a running clock, but we'll see if they want to score right now. At the end of the half, besides the touchdown and the conversion, they didn't seem like they wanted to score, so we'll see what they aim to do here. Same thing I said with the 12-view team. I feel like for Satellite, if they want to score, they're a team that can make that happen. If they don't, well, we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. Because it seemed like they didn't want the running clock in the second half yet. We'll see if they want to score now on this drive. First down and 10, Satellite, their own 45-yard line, leading 27-0 with six and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Split backs with Flores is Copeland and Martin. And we got a flags down here before the play as they're counting on to land. Might be 12 men. On for the Bulldogs. As, yep, 12 men on the field on the DeLand Bulldogs. That'll push Satellite forward five yards. For a first and five at their own 48. First down and five, Satellite at their own 48. Flores still with split backs. Flores is going to drop back. Flores stepping up, throwing deep. Has a man with space, and he's overthrown him there. Looking for number 21, Brady Buchanan, for what would have been a touchdown. So Satellite is gunning at it here in the second half. That's one thing Flores has. There's one thing to criticize Flores, Flores for today, which there isn't a lot because he's been great today. But those deep balls puts a little too much on it, which... It's good that you have a quarterback that throws it that far. He's got a great arm, but got to pinpoint those receivers over the top. But besides that, Flores has been flawless. Got to find those deep balls, though. Second down and five now for Satellite at their own 48. Flores turns give. Zachary Martin. Martin up the middle. Zach Martin will pick up a Scorpion first down on a solid gain of about 10. First down, Satellite to the DeLand 43-yard line. Gain a nine there on the carry. First down. First down and ten. Satellite at the DeLand 43-yard line. Five and a half minutes to go in the third. Scorps lead 27-0. First and ten. Scorpions in DeLand territory. Flores in the gun with Martin. Flores drops back again. Flores throws to the near side. Has a man open. It's caught. Great move there to break the first tackle. He'll get a solid gain there. That's number two. Lucas Vaselli on the reception from Flores up near the line to gain just short of the first down. Or no, that will be a satellite scorpion first down from Flores to Vaselli. And we got a timeout on the field. Water break here with 5.19 to go in the third quarter. Scorps lead at 27-0. They have first and 10 coming up from the Deland 33. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsor today, First Wave Financial. You can call them up at Coming out of the water break here. First and 10, Scorpions at the DeLand 33. And they lead it 27-0, and a score here for Satellite would make it a running clock. Should be their second straight running clock of the day. 12 of you did it. Let's see if 14 you can follow suit. Flores in the gun, turns give. Colson Patterson 
Patterson up the middle for a solid gain on first down, about what you would want out of a first down carry. Gets him inside the 30. It'll bring up second and six for Satellite at the Deland 32. Second down and six for the scores on the four down, four four yard first down carry by Patterson Flores drops. Steps into it, heaves. He's got a man with a step, and there it is. The perfect deep ball throw by Noah Flores for the 28 yard touchdown to number 14, Noah Corval. And you know the one criticism I had for Flores, he says, Jackson, I'll fix that right now. Perfect deep ball from Noah Flores and Noah Corval, Noah to Noah for the Scorps touchdown from 28 yards out to put the Scorps ahead 33 to zero. And the running clock has begun here with four minutes to go in the third quarter. Yeah, that's what I get for criticizing Noah Flores. I get showed up right there with that one. Perfectly thrown deep ball. Flores hits Corval in stride for the 28 yard touchdown. Maui Maza on for the two point kick. Flores a hold. And here comes the two-point kick to go ahead, 35-0. Snap, good. Kick up and no good from Maui Maza. I believe that was wide left. Nevertheless, the Scorpions lead now 33-0. Three and a half minutes ago in the third quarter, and the running clock has begun for the second straight game for the Scorps. Off the 28-yard, Noah to Noah connection. Noah Flores to Noah Corval for the touchdown. So Satellite will get set to kick it here late in the third. I mean, the kickoff might end up being one of the last plays of the third quarter. One of, if not the last. I think there'll be at least one to land play after that, but we'll have to see as Maui Mazza is set to kick it away for Satellite. Thanks everyone for tuning in all day through the multiple streams. We had some issues starting this game with some camera issues, but kept it going. Still got a, a healthy amount of viewers. Thanks everyone for tuning in. All the Deland people, all the Deland crowd viewing, all the satellite crowd. Thanks everyone all day. I apologize. I Brevard Sports Network wasn't here during the 8U. Congrats to the Deland Bulldogs winning the 8U game by a running clock. I was not here during that game, so I was not informed of that. Good kick there, muffed kick there. Down, it'll be scooped up by Deland. Moving forward there, a solid return up around the 30 by number six. That's Caden Fulton. First down and 10 to land, starting at their own 30-yard line. So it seems like both teams here have come to Sac Silly Field. Both DeLand and Satellite have won some games. The last three games, though, have been won by Satellite. I believe DeLand won 10U, then 11, 12, and 14. 14U is not over, obviously. Satellite leading this one, but the last two games, Satellite has come out on top. First down and 10. To land at their own 30 yard line. New quarterback in forward to land. Number 23. Naylon Rogers. And Rogers might have been a wildcat kind of play because he just takes off down the right side. Naylon Rogers down the sideline. He'll pick up positive yardage there getting out of the backfield for a solid gain to make it second down and medium. I think that might have been a wildcat play there as we normally see. Uh, Rogers there running the ball. Is there he just takes off from the quarterback spot though? Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Scorpions leading 33 to zero. Second down and five now for DeLand. 
Another Wildcat type run here by Nalen Rogers. Rogers trying to hit the gap here. Good tackles there by the Scorps. Close to the line to gain though for Deland up near the 40. Again, Nalen Rogers with a solid carry for Deland. And that will be the last play of our third quarter. Satellite leads the land 33-0 on the 14U game as we head to the fourth quarter in just a few minutes. Thanks our sponsor again. First Wave Financial for sponsoring every game today here from Zach Sealy Field. You can call them at 321-773-7773. So with this win, a satellite with a solid lead looking to close it out. They would go four and two on the day with the land going two and four. I believe the wins for satellite would be six U, eleven U, twelve U, fourteen U would be their four wins, and then for the land it'd be eight U and ten U, and that's how the shakedown would be. But that is assuming that satellite closes out. Uh, this game here in 14U, who knows, crazier things have definitely happened. So I'm not going to rule the land out yet, but 33-0 satellite leads into the fourth. So far the record, three wins for satellite, two for the land on the day. Satellite tries to make it forward, the land tries to tie up the day series. So here we go, third down and short for the land, about a third and three at their own 37. Clock runs to start the fourth quarter. Satellite leading 33-0 to zero into the fourth quarter. You see the rainbow there. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can over the north end zone there. Great views here from the perch here at Zach Sealy Field. Always love to see the people out of town that get to watch Maybe some of their family members or friends uh, here on the Brevard Sports Network. All the way from St. Louis, Missouri. Watching, I'm assuming, Zach Tiemann. He's had a good game today for the Scorpions. Third down and three for the land at their own 37-yard line. Quarterback turns, gives up the middle here, cutting back. Good run there, and he'll be forced back at... The line to gain a big hit again by the Scorps. And that's close to the line to gain where he got hit. That was Raymond Hunter on the carry. And man, that was a big hit right at the 40 where they needed it to get as he got drilled backwards. Oh, the penalty going to be targeting on the Scorpions. Hmm. Interesting call there. I didn't see the targeting there. I thought he picked him up. I could see the running back get scooped up in that pile. I thought he got drilled right in the chest, but someone might have led with the head there. That's a big penalty, though. That'll give Delan the first down to the Scorpion 44. First down and 10 following the targeting penalty. First down and 10, Delan to the Satellite 44. Eight minutes to go in the game. Nordman, the quarterback. Nordman, play fake, rolling left, firing to the sideline. It's caught with space down the sideline for a Deland first down. Gardner Norman completes to Ethan Wager for a Deland first down up to the satellite 30-yard line. A gain of 13 on the completion first down. Big first down for DeLand to the Satellite 30. Seven minutes to go in the game. Turns, give, play fake there. Nordman keeps up the middle, and he'll be brought down there. A big tackle there by big number 77 at the line. Fallon Batiste, the big wrap up and bring down for a loss. A loss of about th loss of about one. Second down and eleven now for her to land at the satellite thirty-one. 
as Nordman tried to get out of there, but he got met at the line by Batiste. Second down and 11 for DeLand at the satellite 31. Six and a half minutes to go. Scorps lead. Two backs there, Wildcats set. They're gonna run to the near side. Rogers takes it, nailing Rogers, and he's wrapped up and brought down for a big loss by Will Copeland. And nailing Rogers is down on the play. That'll stop the clock here, 6.05 to go in the game. Scorps lead it. We have an injury timeout here for Nalen Rogers on the carry. I think he might be cramping there a little bit. Hate to see it. 6.05 to go in the game. Scorps lead at 33 to 0. The run there by Rogers is a big loss thanks to Will Copeland. Again, we have an injury timeout. And that's an even longer way to be watching here on the Brevard Sports Network. All the way from Guam, watching Noah Flores. I think that goes without saying North Flores has had a great game today. A lot of Scorps have. If I had to, I had to give my uh, first wave financial player the game. Got to give it to Noah Flores for the Satellite Scorpions. Great to see Nalen Rogers get up for DeLand. He's got to be one of their candidates for player of the game. Nalen Rogers has been a great player. Uh, Gardner Nordman, Caden Fulton, all those players for DeLand. For Satellite, Noah Flores, Will Copeland with a touchdown, Colston Patterson, those three have been big on defense. Zach Tiemann has had some big plays. And then a big touchdown to Noah Coraval. So I think if I give my player of the game, it would be uh, Noah Flores for Satellite. He's just had an incredible game. I think he's had four touchdowns, three or four at least. So for Flores continuing his great, great play here into 14U and 12U last year. Now third and long for DeLand. Third and 18 at the Satellite 38. Got to get down to the 20 here to get a first down. Would have to crack the first wave financial red zone. Turn give. Up the middle, bouncing to the left side. Big hit there. Still fighting. We got flags down there on the carry by number 21, Raymond Hunter. See the flag there. Hunter did lower the head there. We'll see if that's the penalty to be on the defense. And that'll be spearing on the offense. That'll be on That'll be on Hunter. So I guess that's the uh, inverse of targeting would be spearing as he lowered his head there. And that'll be a big penalty for... Big penalty for DeLand to back him up extremely far. Water break here. 5.07 to go in the game. Scorps lead at 33-0 as we head to the water break. I'd like to thank our sponsor for one final time as they have sponsored all three of our games today from Zach Seeley Field. Can't thank them enough. That's First Wave Financial. You can call them at 321-773-7773. They got their office here in Satellite Beach. Sponsoring the Scorpions today. Take a break here during the water break. So here we go, out of the water break here. Third and forever for DeLand, back at their own 45. That's a third and 35 for DeLand, a.k.a. the trip home. Third and the trip to DeLand here for the Bulldogs. Third and 35, quarterback drops, Nordman rolling out. Left heaves one down the field, a great throw, incomplete. 
Got to say, Gardner Norman's got a great throw. That was pinpointed right where it needed to be. Down to Raymond Hunter. Great throw, but it falls incomplete. Good coverage. I mean, threw it into double coverage. Not going to be an easy one to complete for anybody. Now fourth and long for DeLand. Back at their own 45. Got to get all the way to the 20. Yeah, fourth and 35 for DeLand. Fourth down and long for the land. Back at their own 45 here. Four minutes to go in the game. I mean, they've only punted once today. It was a solid punt, but we'll see what they choose to do here. They're going to go for it. Gardner Norman in the gun on fourth and long. Quarterback drops back. Nordman throws in the near far side. It's tipped nearly intercepted by Liam Nolte. And that will be a turnover on downs. First down satellite at the DeLand 45 is the only goal of this drive for satellite. Run this clock out. Pick up win number four of the day for the Scorpions in a big fashion here in 14U. Is this 14U team? It's going to be one to watch again. And 12U. Those two teams for satellite this year looking very solid. Noah Flores still looking very impressive here. First wave financial player of the game. First and 10, Satellite to DeLand, 45. Three minutes to go in the game. Satellite leading 33-0. to zero. Whistles. We got a timeout on the field here. Officials timeout with 2.48 to go in the game. 33-0, scores lead. So as the officials timeout gets settled here and we get set for first down for Satellite. Split backs with Flores on first down. Flores gives up the middle. Zach Martin gets stuffed in the backfield. Good pressure there by Delan. Second down and 10 for Satellite. No gain there on the Martin run. False start on set or on DeLand. Well, that motion on defense is probably a different penalty. Well. Two minutes to go in the game now. Satellite takes second and ten. Second and ten. Satellite blitz coming. Turn gives Zach Martin up the middle. Short gain. They're just trying to run this clock out. Third and long for Satellite. As with this win, Satellite picks up win number four on the day. Here they go four and two. Coming down here from DeLand. The Bulldogs go two and four on the day. So good effort. They're fighting through these games to the last minute. Minute and a half to go. Third down and 10. Flores split backs. Flores turn gives. Number 34 with the carry now out the middle. That's Getch. Ty Getch with a solid run there. Gets him. Actually a solid gain up past the 40. Nearly got him the first. Good carry there by Ty Getch. Fourth and two for Satellite from the DeLand 37. Fourth down and two for Satellite. Split backs with Flores here with one minute to go. Flores play fake. Flores keeps. Noah Flores bounces into the right side. And they whistle it dead. Noah Flores runs in for the touchdown. No idea why they would whistle that dead. Noah Flores takes it in for a 36-yard touchdown. Again, confusion here. Confusion on the field. Why was that play called dead? I guess we'll find out here in just a moment. I mean, the clock's still ticking, so that'll be the last play of the game. No score on the big Noah Flores run. Called back for a penalty of sorts. Ooh, they might have never whistled the play alive. I don't know. Because they're starting at the same spot. 
Clock's just going to tick out. So I don't know if they ever whistled that play alive. I guess maybe not. So the Flores run won't count. Last play of the game. Flores keeps again. Noah Flores bouncing the outside. Noah Flores flags down. Flores fighting through tacklers. And he'll be brought down inside the five. Flags down on the last play of the game. Noah Flores, man. Hard to bring down, so good job by DeLand, keeping him out of the end zone there on that one. Is that penalty we won't, won't keep us any longer as that is the game. Satellite, Scorpions 14U defeat DeLand 33-0. to zero. Congratulations for the Scorps as they win four out of six games on the day. Great effort by DeLand all day, making the trip down and playing some good football. Thanks, everyone, for watching the Brevard Sports Network today. Thanks one more time to our sponsor, First Wave Financial. You can call them at 321-773-7773. Once again, final score, Satellite 33, DeLand 0. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great night, everybody, and make it a sports night.